Now only on CBS4, the day after a gruesome crash kills rookie driver Paul Dana at the Homestead Speedway, we're hearing one of the last interviews he would ever give. Saturday, the day before he died, Dana talked about how excited he was about the big race. He spoke with a group of local high school students who were working on a project, and little did they know how significant that interview would be. CBS4's Kerry Codd has the exclusive. He's live in the newsroom. Kerry? That's right. Several South Florida high school students watched the news of Paul Dana's death in disbelief yesterday. As you mentioned, they interviewed him on Saturday at the Speedway, and in that interview, he's so hopeful of his finish, but his dreams of racing success would end less than 24 hours later. This is what happens when a vehicle traveling 176 miles an hour collides with a stationary object. And it's well known what happened to the driver, Paul Dana. His death tragic for so many in his family and the racing community. And for young fans like high school student Chris Green, the crash is teaching a life lesson. It just goes to show you that uh, how frail life can be and how dangerous the sport is. Green and several classmates from Robert Morgan Educational Center in Cutler Ridge interviewed Paul Dana Saturday afternoon. It was part of a school project. Dana made time for the students, telling them the conditions for Sunday's race seemed perfect. It's supposed to be cool again, so I think it won't be as slick as it normally is. It normally gets very hot and windy here, but if it's cool and windy, that helps because the cars make more downforce and cold air, so it should be okay. No one could have predicted that less than a day later, this accident would end Dana's life. With just three minutes left in the final pre-race practice, driver Ed Carpenter spun out, hit the wall, and drifted into the center lane. Dana crashed into him. For Chris Green, seeing the footage seemed unbelievable. I just couldn't believe that he had passed away because he was so upbeat and so excited to first race with his new team. At such upbeat energy. Green's teacher says this is a lesson for these aspiring journalists more powerful than what they learn in the classroom. I think that for them this was a really a big experience because they're young kids, you know, they don't think like adults do, but I think they realize that you never know, you're here today, you know, you could possibly not be here tomorrow. So they, I think they appreciate life much more now. And we've learned some new information today about the investigation into the crash. The Indy Racing League says they will not perform a formal investigation. They will, however, look at Dana's car to see if everything worked properly. And the other driver, Ed Carpenter, was released from Jackson Memorial Hospital a short time ago. We're told he's in good condition but does have a bruised lung. In the newsroom, Kerry Codd, CBS 4 News.